Welcome Scorpio to your numerology reading for April. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay friends, let's see what's going on with you in numerology. message for Scorpio please. Best message for Scorpio please. And if you guys are seeing any of these numbers, it's just a way of trying to contact you to let you know this is what's going on. Okay. We have a spiritual partnership and adventure. Ooh, 55. Got a, a master number coming up over here. That 55 is actually going to break down to just five. So anytime you see like five, five, five or 55, those are, you know, um, they're always going anything after, um, anything that's double like that is going to just break down to itself. Okay. So having this 55 over here is really a big thing over here. It's really trying to like have adventure, get some fun. You know what I mean? It's like really important. Um, and it's the most important thing of the whole reading over here. You have 27, uh, seven plus two is nine breaking down to the ending of this so that you can have this beautiful adventure over here. So, but it doesn't mean that it's the ending of the spiritual partnership. It just means that it's the ending to anything that was going on that needed to be completed. So if you were having problems, um, in a spiritual partnership, um, you don't have to worry about those problems anymore, right? Nine doesn't always have to be 100% like it's done. It's over. It's it, no, that's not exactly how it always is. It means that there's an accomplishment. There's an understanding. There's a service, endings, completions, transition, right? It's definitely a transition. So there could be something very accomplishing feeling of this, right? So don't always think that the, that the nine for ending means that I had to let it go. It was this, it was that, it was all over. Um, no, it can be very accomplishing, right? We accomplished this and now... You know, there's something very rewarding going on around it. Um, okay, so the first card coming out, yeah, is the Ace of Wands. And there's that accomplishment and knowing that we can now continue to, whatever was going on with the spiritual partnership over here, you can now feel like you have this new beginning and understanding of one another. Maybe you were kind of combative about trying to find this person or combative with this person. Um, but there feels like a mutual understanding that's going on. Um, okay, so with the 27, let's see exactly what Spirit wants you to know. It's a time with significant spiritual relationship is about to be forged. Perhaps it comes in the form of a friendship between like-minded souls. Some of you might not even have this yet. You might still be waiting in April. You're like, I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm not going through this just yet. Well, then Spirit is saying it's coming Wait for it, 27, 27, 27, it is 5, 27, 5, 27, right? And you're going, what does 5, 27 mean? Or it's 509, 509, <laughs> right? Whatever numbers are here, right? And you're going, I don't get it. Um, and it's really just telling you, get ready for it, Scorpio, here it comes, right? So if so many of you know that you're already there, because it could literally... Um, even be seeing the numbers during the time that it's happening, right? And then for some of you, you might have just started picking up these numbers and you're going, I don't know what the heck that means, but I keep seeing that number. It's driving me nuts. Um, so they're saying, get ready, get ready, because you're going to have this spiritual partner coming in. So take it how it resonates. You either have it or you're getting ready to. Okay, so... And they're like-minded souls on a similar journey towards enlightenment. It's someone coming in. It could be this... Um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, um, if it's your partner itself, he's getting ready or she's getting ready to start this journey with you. Oh my gosh, really? I know I just heard that in my head. I just heard somebody yell, oh my God, they've been listening. That means that they've literally been listening to me finally. <laughs> okay. They have mastered the discipline of the relationship where it's important individual enters your life. This saying goes, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. So, and for others of you, if you feel like you're a student and you're waiting for this person to come teach you, you know, and you're like, I really need someone to teach me more because I just feel 
you know, not as a teacher, I feel as a student, then this person's coming through, right? And for others of you, it could be your partner coming through saying, I want to learn more. And you're like, oh, bless the heavens above. You know what I mean? Like, oh my God, I can't believe you've said this. I've been up your butt about this all year, you know? Um, and, you know, and then of course it could be somebody um, unexpected. And that would be definitely unexpected, right? If they came to you. Um, and it definitely could be somebody you don't even know, right? You just meet this person who's like-minded. So how awesome is that? So, and then you can take on this like teacher or student roles and maybe you guys could even go back and forth. You could teach them something that they don't know and they could teach you something you don't know. So those are also um, very awesome. But it's definitely um, a very good energy and it's something that Spirit really wants you to understand. Look out for this person. Um, it, you know, or this is already happening and good job. And it would be like, if it's already happening, they're kind of doing the recognition like, yeah, and you're doing a good job about it too. <laughs> Keep going strong. Okay. And it's just saying that it's, it's, it's a uh, advancement. Yeah. It's the perfect timing for this to happen. For most of you are getting ready for this person to come through. Um, or this little journey has just started. Um, but however it is, the moon is out and you're reflecting things and um, you might even go some, through some self-reflection um, with this person. You guys can self-reflect together. Um, wow. I even feel like for some of you, you could even be doing some moon gazing for energy healing purposes at night. So, wow. How beautiful is that? And it is, it's learning. There's the teacher card coming out with the page of swords, feeling like you are, um, you know, learning, teaching, um, they're teaching, however it is. How beautiful is that? Definitely talking about this partner coming in who is knowledgeable and the things that you're knowledgeable about or like-minded and really wants to learn. Wow. And this is really like a new beginning with the fool over here. And like I said, if it's some of you, it's this person that you never would have expected to all of a sudden open up and say, you know, I would really like to know what you were talking about the other day. You know, it could be your spouse. And then you would be like, wow, they took a leap of faith, right? I can't even believe <laughs> that they would even come. Um, but this is going to be a venture. And I feel like this is going, and with this change being five, this is going to be a huge change around in session and adventure for you. It's the adventure of spiritual learning. It's the adventure of learning things together and just enjoying yourself um, and enjoying their company. Taking the adventure and learning. Wow, look at that. Yes, traveling together as the nine of coins and just really taking this journey together and inspecting all the little things together and learning all these things together. Oh my gosh, how beautiful is that? And this journey has everything to do with learning and inspecting little things and and uh, getting deep into the intricate details about the journey and really traveling beautiful together um, with the nine of coins. And this person could also be a, um, you know, a Capricorn or a Taurus, and you're just going to uh, love this, right, with the page of cups coming on. And it's, there's that teacher again teaching each other about emotional and spiritual awareness with the page of cups. And feeling like you, you have the loyalties to each other and it's getting deep, getting deep, right, into situations, into subjects um, that maybe, you know, you can't talk to anybody else about. And that's why this is so important, Scorpio, because you feel like, um, you know, when you're in a spiritual world, not everybody is listening. Not everybody cares. Most people don't, right? Um, so it would be like they're on your level of where you want to be. Yes, beautiful. Knight of Cups. And they're listening to you, Scorpio, with the Knight of Cups coming up. That's you. And look, there's a lot that you're teaching them as well. And it feels good. It feels good because it's like this feel good, like we're going to go out, we're going to have fun, and this adventure is going to be awesome, and I can propose my ideas to you, and you're actually listening to me, right? So adventure doesn't have to mean like you're always, you know, that you're actually traveling, all over the world, it could just be traveling within a subject that you are so interested in and you've been waiting for this person. You are somebody, you know. I wish somebody were here that, you know, would care about what I care about. 
I mean, how many of us have said that I'm going to raise my hand, literally raise my hand. Um, I would like to have a friend that gives a crap about what I'm talking about, gives a crap about what I'm interested in. Because, you know, I'm maybe we're kind of like in a bubble um, and it feels like we are interested in things um, that no one else seems to care about. There's a lot of people that actually care about the same things you care about. It's just meeting that person. We know they're out there. We see them everywhere. But where's the, my friend? And now you feel like you can propose and offer cups. Right? And they actually care. Because with the, uh, with the Knight of Cups, you can give that compassion. And it just feels like they're just going to take that. And they're going to throw that right back at you. And you're just like, yes, finally. Finally. You see? Finally, I've been recognized for all the knowledge that I have. Um, and that I care about. And my creativity is in my interests. Beautiful. And so Spirit says, it's time. It's time for you to get this friend. It's time for your partner to open up to you. However it is, how gorgeous is that? Because I know there's so many people, especially in this line of work, um, you'd be surprised. It's not like something I just go outside and just start talking with my neighbor about. My neighbor don't care. <sighs> right. And it feels like they have the loyalties too. You could definitely be dealing with a fire sign and it feels like this fire sign is like loyal to the understanding and you guys are exchanging information, laughing, giggling, and it does feel like an adventure of a lifetime. How beautiful. And that's awesome. It's like, I know, right? We're like air pump. Yes. Oh, believe me, I'm right there with you. So. And it just feels like, too, I want to bring this up, too, that if you feel like you're bringing up opinions, I won't bring this up. This is a big one because everybody has their own theories and we have our own opinions about the way things are. This person is not going to be that person who's going to argue your theory or your opinion. Even if they do, it'll be more like a debate style. It wouldn't be, I mean, it would be more like expressing through maybe a kind of like debate, but not arguing, fighting. Um, they're actually listening and learning. You guys are exchanging knowledge. So you could say, well, I really think that, you know, this happened. And they'll say, well, I'm not really keen on that, but I do think this kind of happened. You're like, wow, that's pretty cool. And you guys can exchange, you know, information without arguing, fighting, or somebody thinking you're crazy or them telling you you're stupid or, you know what I mean? It's nothing like that. It's totally 100% having a wonderful intellectual, spiritual um connection okay so see what your spirit guide has to say with the sacred traveler cards i wish this could happen for everybody um there's so many signs out there that would love to have this reading scorpio they would love to have your reading i know libra would love to have this reading pisces would love to have this reading there's so many people out there that would love to have where you are feeling fogged in go slow take time why? Why are you going slow and taking the time? Because there's no reason to go fast. You're just going to enjoy the ride. Enjoy the traveling. Don't, you know, um, when you find this person, you know what it feels like? You're my sister's sign. Okay, I'm Taurus. So I know for a fact my best friend's a Scorpio. We get together. We do this all the time, right? She's my go-to. Um, <laughs> But I could just see it too. It's like you find this person and then all of a sudden you want to open up all this information or you find out your partner is finally on key with you and you want to just kind of uh, slam them. <sighs> oh my God, I can't believe you believe it. Blah, 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 blah. Right. I, I would do it. I would, you know, because I get so excited, right? Um, so it's just kind of telling you take the time and be slow so that way you guys are intermerging together to bring this relationship close, right? And it, for a lot of you, it's just a friendship. Um, but yeah, make sure that you're just taking slow time. Don't be overwhelming, especially if they're just trying to open up to the situation. Don't over, you know, overwhelm them. You don't want to scare them away, right? So it's like you're saying, just take slow. You know, this will help with the transformation. And this will actually help for both of you to intermix like these snakes. It's almost going to be like the snake intertwining itself. Now, unfortunately, that means that they're making love, but, you know, you know what I'm saying. Uh, 
Okay, so yes, patiently kind of plan about how you guys are going to say things. You're transforming. You have the Scorpio, beautiful Scorpio card over here, and it's going to be a big transformation for you because it feels like you've been looking for someone who's like-minded for a while. Um, okay, so take it slow, and then once it starts kind of growing and you guys really find, you know, if all these things in common and doing the things that you're doing, then it can take off and you guys can really start, you know, really getting into those conversations with passion look at that with passion and really growing together and having the relationship mature um, as you're going wow it's gonna be beautiful how much fun is that okay so and that was it for you my friends and until next time peace and love bye, -bye.